What's going on everyone? This is Vince from Life with Vince Lou, and today I wanted to talk about my transition from power building, powerlifting slash bodybuilding to more of a jiu-jitsu practitioner. So a little bit of background, I've been power building for about four to five years. So powerlifting slash bodybuilding where I mainly focus on the deadlift, squat, and bench press as my core movements, and but also at the same time caring about my aesthetics. So that was really more my training program. I was doing it four to five days a week, and then I started picking up jujitsu right around a year ago. And at the start of that, I was doing jujitsu for about twice a week and power building for four to five days a week. But now it's completely switched. I do, I lift, three like two to three days a week but then i go to jujitsu four to six days a week so i wanted to talk about that transition probably the biggest reason why i've decided to make this transition is because jujitsu is just way more practical i mean for me i've done the power building thing for about four to five years i never power lifted in an official meet and i've never competed on stage for bodybuilding but i've had a six pack i've been super ripped and my numbers are pretty decent for power lifting i mean at my height when i was about 133 to 138 pounds i was de deadlifting for 415 405 i was squatting 315 to 325 and i was bench pressing 245 to 255 but you know i've been doing it for so long i after a while i realized like what good is it to be this strong or to have a six pack be super ripped i mean where can i actually use that if it ever came down to it so you know i stepped into the jujitsu gym and you know i roll with people that are older younger smaller bigger but specifically when i roll with someone that's 10 years my junior and they weigh 20 pounds less than me and they're a female and they're putting me in a pretzel i just realized that jujitsu is super super powerful and that just got me hooked because i was like it, in my mind it was like this is what was going on in my mind was hey you can actually use this if it came down to it why do you care about the vanity of looking good or really how strong you are if you can never really put those those that to use right i mean so for me it just made way more sense to learn the jujitsu craft rather than being super strong or being aesthetic i mean to be honest though i do still care about being strong and i still do care about being a little bit aesthetic but i don't care to be super duper diced and i don't care to be super duper strong in, in in certain aspects right so for me i want to be strong in jujitsu and i want to be able to translate that on the mass rather than just deadlifting 435 pounds i mean it i it doesn't really matter to me as much anymore since i made that transition into more of a full-time jujitsu and something that made it super easy to make this transition into more of a full-time jujitsu practitioner is the community i mean when you're just going to class you're going to meet a ton of people not only that but you're going to roll with them you know there's just something about slapping hands trying to choke each other out trying to submit each other that makes you bond with them especially if you talk to them after you ask them for pointers and they soon become your friends whereas when you're when i at least for me when i was in the gym power building i would meet people here and there but it was weird to go up to people like hey what's up because you know obviously people have their headphones in people don't don't want to be bothered every once in a while i'll meet a person just because you know we're sharing a deadlifting platform and they're like hey can, can i use i know you're squatting right now uh can i deadlift and i'm like yeah sure you know and then you kind of make friends that way but for me at least it was i met a lot of friends a lot faster in the jujitsu community and everyone tends to be super nice and everyone wants to help you out they're there to better themselves but not only better themselves they're there to better to help others as well so that that mindset is really contagious and it's really infectious and then everyone's just sharing knowledge everyone wants to be there to have a good time people stay after to chat to talk 
Fridays we have a happy hour. We go out to eat, go out for a few drinks. And yeah, basically the community is really helpful and that's made my transition a lot easier. And it makes me look forward to class because you know, if I don't go a certain day, they're gonna be like, hey, where were you? You know, is everything all right? Or if I don't go for too many days, but hey, where were you? Um, we, you, you miss out on this, this and this. So, yeah. And to a certain extent, I think that I'm still able to balance my power building and jujitsu because one, I mean, I'm going to jujitsu four to six days a week. So I'm definitely getting better on the mats. I can feel myself getting better. Not only that, but with my numbers on power lifting, they're relatively still going up. Well, I take that back. My deadlift is going up, and but my squat and my bench press are going down just because I don't have enough time to dedicate like super serious training sessions to my squat and bench whereas I care a lot more about my deadlift so I've switched my uh, program to be more deadlift heavy so when I'm in the gym two to three days a week at least two of those days I'm deadlifting so because I care way more about my deadlift than the, the other two so I've switched my priorities to still get the results that I want and, that, and I'm okay with that because I'm okay with me getting way better at jujitsu and my deadlift increasing and then my bench and my squat decreasing and I'm okay with that and that's what I want right now and that's what I'm focused on so I've you know my priorities changed at the beginning of the year I wanted to up all my power lifting uh, my, my barbell power lifts and uh, go to jujitsu a few times a week but now it's I've happily switched over to jiu-jitsu four to six days a week and just focusing on my deadlift. And actually just today I've deadlifted 425. So that was a new beltless PR for me. You just have to put it in time. I mean, you know, like how many training sessions are you gonna go at the gym? How many training sessions are you gonna go for jiu-jitsu? Figure it out, map it out because I feel like you're still able to balance it. You know, just make sure that you're on a program, a consistent program and so hope you all enjoyed that video if you haven't already subscribed please consider subscribing if you like the video please give it a thumbs up other than that see y'all soon